there's different ways that you can actually express uh, what a function or a relation looks like. Um, in this case, we're going to be sticking with functions. And uh, there's three different ways that we can, can look at them. One way is that we can actually look at a graph. So here's the graph of one. You could connect all of these points with a line. So it's definitely a function, and it's, it's linear. Um, here's another linear function. And in fact, all of them are linear functions. So we can actually graph these relationships, and that's great. But then you see here we've got a category called tables. Well, when we look at them, we could have a bunch of the ordered pairs, not all of them, but some of them, dumped into these xy tables. And that would be a way to actually express the same function. And then the last thing is the rule. And you may not be as familiar with that, but a rule is nothing more than the equation. So this is what it's telling us to do to this input, the x. And then that lets us be able to get the output, which is the y. And um, this is a brief little exercise where we try to match up this graph to its own table and equation. So A, B, C, and D is, is mixed up. It does not necessarily go right with the, the graph that's shown here. Same thing with the equations. It's our job to untangle them. So um, the first thing we need to do is take a look at the graphs and get our information down. This is a y-intercept of 3. So that means on these equations, we've got to look at what's being added or subtracted after the x. This is a plus 2. Well, we need a plus 3 because that's a positive 3. So I know it's not e. Um, there's a possibility it could be f because here's the plus 3. It could be g because here's a plus 3. But the h, I know that this equation does not match up to this first graph. So now it's just a matter of looking at our slope. And if we just pick two random points, we can figure out our slope. We would move down, so that's a negative 1. And to the right one, so that's a positive 1. So our slope is negative 1. Well, here's the two equations that it could be. This is a positive 1x. This is a negative 1x. That's our slope right here. My, my rule for this function, or my equation, would be f. And now I don't have to worry about f anymore um, for the, the rest of this exercise because I found it and I've used it. And let me go ahead and erase this mark down here. Now, Let's go ahead while we're, we're working on this, and let's match it up to the graph. Um, let's see. Let's just start with this point right here. This is a negative 1 on the x-axis and a positive 4y. So let's look at this. I don't see a negative 1, positive 4. Uh, not all of the points are listed, so it may not be on any of the graphs, but we'll check. A negative 1, 4. No. Oh, here we go. A negative 1, 4. Um, let's check out the rest of them. This says 1, 2. So I go to positive 1, and yep, there it is. 1, 2 is right there. Uh, 3, 0. Well, 1, 2, 3, 3, 0 is right here. And 4, negative 1. 4, negative 1. So C is my table of points here. Looking down at this one, um, again, we take a look at our y-intercept, and that would mean that my y-intercept is 3 again. And that means it has to be this one. That's the only other equation that had the y-intercept. It also means my slope is 1, and that checks out. It goes up 1 and to the right 1. So g is my rule. Okay. That's the equation. And now let's go ahead and, and match up um, the table. Uh, let's see if it's got 0, 3 on any of them. 0, 3, that's a 0, 2, no. I don't see it there. 0, 3, no. I, I don't see 0, 3 on any of these, but again, there's a lot of other points. How about uh, a 1, 4? 1, positive 4. That's a negative 1, 4. Here's a 1, 4 right here. 1, 4. So there's 1, there's 4. How about a negative 1, 2? Negative 1, 2. I think this is it. Negative 2, 1. And negative 3, 0. So yes, D is the table for this one. Let's go on down to the third one. Um, we've got a y-intercept of positive 2. And it's, you know, right here. 
but I also see a wider SIP to positive 2 here. And if we look at the, the rules that are left over, this one's got a positive 2, and this one's got a positive 2 for the y-intercept. So it's it's still E or H. I need to look at the, the slopes. This is a negative 1 half, and that's a positive 1. Um, this one's a positive slope, and this is a negative slope, and it, it fits perfectly down 1 and to the right 2. So I know that H is the proper rule for this one. Uh, let's see, this is a 4, 0. Let's see if any of the tables has 4, 0 on it. Yep, A has 4, 0. So A will be my proper point. And you should always go through and check the rest of the points just to make sure there's not a coincidence. But um, we're good that those points are, are fine. I've already checked that. And then um, since we've used H and we've used A, the only things that are left is B and E. And if you check those, that should fit in nicely with this. Um, again, the, the whole point of this lesson is not so much to pull in old linear equation information. It's just to, to look at these and go, you know what? Equations can be expressed as a graph. We can also just express it as just a rule or the function. And we can also just give you a relation, a set of ordered pairs, and it might be an XY table. So it's just three different ways that we can um, show what a function is.